I want to tell a story when I paint, but I don't want to tell the whole story. I want people to kind of make it up as they go. So I, I paint a lot of unfinished work, you know, leave some things out. I, I think it's, it's important to do that in work. Tim Pearson, um, professional firefighter, EMT, uh, full-time artist, full-time father, side hustle carpenter, and seasonal fishing guy. I grew up in a family of uh, artists. Um, everybody had some sort of uh, art that they that they liked to do, whether it would be wood carving or painting, or drawing. They kind of shaped who I was. You know, I was out in the woods a lot, um, fishing, hunting chasing brook trout in, in the brush. You know, I miss miss those days riding bikes around with the with our rods strapped to the bike. There, there was a time in high school that I got away from, from art and, and the outdoors a little bit. And I, I call those the lost years. I felt like I was kind of losing myself. Like I was really like I was depressed. I was, I, I was lost. I mean, I, I just knew I knew I wasn't going down the right path. I was I was going into the army. I ended up going into basic training. And when I was 19 years old, I got a fish hook in my right eye, and that's what got me out of the military. But it, I think it was a saving grace because after that happened, I got my orders to go to Afghanistan and Afghanistan was a complete mess. I mean, at the time, a fish hook in my eye was horrible. It was horrible. I'm a man of my word, you know. When I sign up to do something, I wanna, I wanna finish it and, and do it well. And that was kind of, it was, it was tough. You know, it's still, it's still tough now. Maybe it was divine intervention, I don't know. I believe in energy, I believe in karma, and I, there was a series of events, and, and the fish hook was the last thing that happened. Just, I, I had other injuries before that. I was not myself. I was just, the energy was bad. I just had, I was not doing what I was supposed to be doing. I realized that I need to be doing what, I, what I've always wanted to do. Art to me is anything that is able to bring out feelings that you can't really explain. When you see the work that goes into it, when you see brush stroke, when you see chisel marks, when you see the actual painter, I feel like that's real work. Fly fishing is an art. I think it, there's, it's no different than uh, a paint and a brush. A person that's casting a fly rod is still telling a story, just like a painter, you know, and that's what I love about fly fishing. For me, as, as an artist, it's my tool to get out and, and experience the world. I, 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 mean, I go to fish just to gain, it's like I gain reference for my paintings by fishing. I mean, it's, it's great. It's a great tool. It's a calling. It's what I do. That's what I have to do to be me. I spent uh, a few summers working for the U.S. Geological Survey as a biologist or a biological technician. Um, and I spent three summers in uh, the Arctic working on some bird projects. I was in these, these rugged landscapes around bears, around things that I wasn't in control of. 
and it made me feel so small and, and humble and uh, just kind of got the uh, the fish bug up there and became a guide and I got guided up there for seven years I, I think everybody's trying to this is this is not just this area it's it's the it's the industry uh, worldwide everybody's trying to make a name for themselves and I, I'd be lying if I if I said I didn't want that when I was younger I thought that was where I wanted to go as a guide and wanted that's all I wanted to do but now I don't I think that the uh, environmental advocacy and, and sustainability is where my focus is and kids really I'm, I'm excited that for my daughter to get into fishing I, I love watching kids fish She's already painting water, watercolor. I've had her paint watercolor since she was a few months old, just having the brush, and I just that's that's my goal is to raise her like that. Never miss your water till your well runs dry. Never miss your little mama till she says bye bye. I woke up this morning, but my shoes on wrong. Short time here, honey. But a long time gone Take me back, good woman Try me one more time But I don't do the situation Send me down the line I woke up this morning Hardly keep from crying See no bread on the table Smell no meat a frying It's take me back, good woman Try me one more time I had an epiphany one day, it's like Why am I trying to go down this path when I could When I was happy when I was 12 or 13 You know, that was the, the best time of my life So, um, I'm back, I'm back to that, you know, that's what I've been doing since I had that moment.